in film, I think women get flattened often. Complicated women with agency is sort of my MO. <laughs> I think I fell in love with film when I was in high school. I was at boarding school in Westchester, and in the, the common areas, there were just these VHS tapes, and we had like Apocalypse Now and Dog Day Afternoon, and all these amazing films from the 70s, so I watched those, and I was like, oh, right, it's the directors. They're the ones doing all the stuff. And then I got into the Sundance Screenwriters Lab, and from there, it was really just doing lab after lab after lab, and then eventually um, getting financed to make my first feature. Little Woods is a dramatic, about two sisters who live in a fracking boom town in North Dakota. It started with this my desire to tell a story about women living in a rural part of America, in part because I wanted to talk about how poverty is a gendered experience and how women experience it differently than men. And also I wanted to, to portray a part of America we don't see often in, in, in media. And I knew that I wanted there to be an abortion in the film. I think what I wanted to explore it was sort of the relative privilege that I have being um, a resident of New York City. If I needed an abortion, for example, I could go take the train 20 minutes and get one. So being poor here is very different from being poor in, in somewhere like North Dakota. I think there are a lot of narratives that get imposed on female filmmakers and also filmmakers of color. Um, I know I personally get asked like, oh, do you want to read this script about this black person or do the script about oppression of black people? And I'm like, ah. Oh. <laughs> Is it good? Like, you know, on the one hand, it's like, well, we definitely want, a, you know, a black woman to tell a story about this black woman. There's also sort of like, um, you can only tell those stories, black woman. You know, <laughs> so and I think it's like, I don't, it's not a double-edged sword, but it's a two-sided coin, I guess, maybe.